China's State Council published the final guideline on investment for the country's massive pension fund on Sunday, effectively opening the gate for its investment into the stock market. The move is intended to create more value for the massive fund, which had net assets of 3.5 trillion yuan, or 547 million U.S. dollars, by the end of 2014. The final plan allows the pension fund to be invested in new products, including domestic stock markets, but restricts the maximum proportion of investments in stocks and equities to 30 percent of total net assets. The fund will also be used to participate in major projects and purchase shares in state-owned enterprises to gain long-term yields. The move is intended to create more value for the massive fund. Which was previously parked in banks were invested in treasury bonds with low yields. The condition has long spurred calls for changes as China faces a huge challenge in caring for its increasing elderly population. Pension fund previously was allowed to invest in banks or treasury bonds with low yields, and it actually depreciated due to inflation. The stock market will help avoid the diminishing value of pension fund. And create long-term and stable returns for citizens. China's pension fund accounts for roughly 90% of the country's total social security fund pool.